So you want to record voiceovers in DaVinci Resolve 17. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do it. So without further ado, let's get started. So how do we get started? Let me show you. What I tend to do is I create a new audio track and I rename that track to a voiceover track so I know exactly which track I'm going to be working with. So I go down to my audio down here, right click and I add a new track. It can be mono, it could be stereo. I'm going to do mono for now. Then I'm going to double click onto the audio title here and I'm going to rename it voiceover. Next, what we're going to need to do is go to the Fairlight page. So navigate to the bottom here and click where it says Fairlight. And here is essentially where we're going to go to record our voiceover. So the next steps are as followed. Open up the mixer. So if you don't see it by default, click this icon here and it should open up. And if you look carefully to the bottom, you should see where it says your voiceover track. So here it says voiceover. And how essentially you start recording your voiceover is you need to link your input. You need to tell your system what device you'd like to use to record. So to do that, you go to inputs. It should say no input by default. Click onto that and click input. This window here should pop up and it will show you all of the audio inputs that you have currently in your system. So right now I have a microphone plugged into my system and it's coming out of my mixer. So it's literally right here. If you had a USB microphone, it'll be there. If you had a system microphone, it'll be there. If you have a webcam microphone, it'll also be here. So what you next need to do is click onto your audio input that you want to use. And then by default, your track inputs, so the track that you're going to be recording to should be selected. So here it says voiceover. If it's not selected, then select onto it. Navigate to the bottom and press patch. Then you can close this tab here. And you should now be almost be ready to start recording. So next, what you need to do is go to your voiceover track here and press this button here, which is arm for records. You should then be able to hear yourself, which is really weird. It's really strange. You should be able to hear yourself. And then all you need to do is navigate to the top here and then press record. So how I'm, so now I'm recording, I'm testing to go la 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 la. This is weird. I can hear myself play it back. There's some nice balloons here. Yay, look balloons. I can pop out this window, floating window. Yay, voiceover. And when you're done, I'm going to put this back. I'm going to press stop and if, and I'm going to disable this so I don't hear myself back. Now, if I play this back, so how I'm, so now I'm recording, I'm testing to go la 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 la. This is weird. I can hear myself play it back. There's some nice balloons here. Yay. Look balloons. I can pop out this window, floating window. Yay. Voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> so that is essentially how to quickly create the voiceover of individuals of 17. And then you have all of these beautiful effects here. So say, for example, you have your EQ that you can mess with you have your processors you've got your dynamics you have your noise gate here if you want me to make a video about my eq processes and how to save eqs then let me know in the comments below in fact i'm going to make a video on that dedicated right for that but this is just how to make voiceovers so yeah guys this is literally it then once that's done you can go back to your edit page and yeah <laughs> you can edit as normal and it's literally that simple Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you found this video useful, then let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.